In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a t-shirt design for Merch by Amazon Fast. Hi, I'm Curtis Blackmore. I'm the founder of Merch Titans. And today I'm going to show you how to use the free t-shirt builder tool from Merch Titans to quickly create a t-shirt design that is already optimized for Merch by Amazon. Keep watching. All right, so this is part four of this mini series, which is the last part. So now we're gonna take all the information we found in part one, part two, and part three, bring it together and actually make a t-shirt that we can upload to Merch by Amazon. So the first part, we basically found a t-shirt idea that has a high chance of selling uh, and has minimal competition. We, in part two, we checked the trademark status on our idea to make sure that it's safe to use. Part three, we found a graphic that is fitting for our idea and now part four, which is where we are now. We're over on the uh, t-shirt builder tool on MerchTitans.com. This is a free tool you can use from anywhere, anytime with an internet connection. So now we're going to create our t-shirt idea, which is I'd rather be fishing. We'll create it, we'll save it to our computer and show you how that works. Let's get started. Okay, so over here on the right, we have a few different options for our t-shirts. We can edit graphical elements here if we have them on our canvas. Uh, right here you can put in text to add it to the canvas, which is going to be one of the main features we use. Uh, right here we can upload images and add them to the canvas. Uh, and then we have a few other options that I won't get into now. But uh, for the sake of this video, we already know what the idea is. It's I'd rather be fishing. So I need the text on and then I'll add the graphics on and then I'll adjust the text to where everything looks fitting and it looks good. So let's go ahead and add, and I'm gonna do it all in caps because it looks better to me. So I'd rather be fishing. Actually, let's do I'd rather be on one line. I won't choose any fonts or anything just yet. I'll add that text. Let's increase the size a little bit more. And by the way, big thumbnails on Amazon seem to do quite a bit better in terms of sales. So I recommend that you build your designs, like make them big. So I'd rather be, let's get the fishing in here now. So now back here, fishing, go down to add text, bring that here, make that quite a bit bigger and I'm actually gonna stretch it. Mm. Rather be fishing and I want the fishing to really stand out. Okay, so we have I'd rather be fishing. Now the next step is to add the image which we have on our desktop. Here we go. This is the one we found with the uh, free image search tool right here. So add that and there we go. So now if you come down, there's a little tiny dot here in the bottom right corner which will allow you to increase the size of this. So I'm gonna make that a bit bigger. Uh, and the fill color on these, I wanna make sure that is completely black. So bottom left. That way it fits this design a little better. And now we have all of our graphical elements on here. Oops, I forgot to update those. Gotta click update, there we go, that's better. All right, so we have all our graphical elements on here, just like that, our t-shirt idea is now alive. So what we wanna do is adjust the font, to make it look better. So right here, if you, if you double click on your text, select it all, go to choose font, you can actually scroll through these, click on them and see what it would look like. So I recommend, this is from Google's huge uh, font library. So I recommend you just go through here and find something that you, you like and then choose that, make sure it's fitting, but the font will really be what makes this design stand out. So I will, I actually have one already in mind. Let me go find it. In fact, I can just type it in. Scrungy. Okay, so back to here. All right, so that is the font I'm going to use for both of these. Scrungy. And there you go. Now, again, I want to increase the size of these to make them uh, take up more space. Oh, I need to move that down a bit. rather be fishing let's give that a bit more space and maybe this fish is just slightly too big so I'll come back down to this corner 
And I, as you can see, everything scales properly with these PNG files. And uh, I think that is good. So just like that, um, we create a design in a matter of minutes. It's a decent design. And by the way, text designs on Amazon seem to do quite well. So if you're struck for ideas, I recommend you use that product search feature inside Merch Titans. Find some t-shirt ideas that are proven to sell well, that don't have a ton of competition, and then come over to this free t-shirt builder tool and just build text-based designs that look good and that are designed obviously for a big thumbnail on Amazon. Uh, I guarantee if you do that and you put enough up, you will get sales. Anyway, now that this is done, what you want to do is scroll to the bottom. You'll see this yellow Save button. So click Save Design and just give it a few seconds. It's preparing the design and it should open it up in a new tab. Uh, and from there, what we can do is right click on the image and then uh, click Save As and download it to our computer. And it will already be for the dimensions of uh, Merch by Amazon. So just like this, you can right click on the image, click Save Image As, put it on your desktop. I'd rather be fishing, save it. And now we have our design. As you can see, it's a black background, but we have our design on our computer. I'd rather be fishing, and it's already optimized for Merch by Amazon, as you can see here. 4500x5400 pixels. Uh, you're good to go upload it just like that. You have a design, um, and that is how you can find an idea, check the trademark status, find graphics to complement your idea, and ultimately how to build the t-shirt idea in a matter of seconds. So with that being said, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.